27 year old Uyghur American software engineer came to America along with his siblings in 2011 to reunite with his father. His mother, however, has been denied a Chinese passport despite the US clearing her visa application. Instead, she was sent to one of China's brutal concentration camps made specifically for Uyghur Muslims. Now, Vion spoke with her son, Farkat Jawad, a an human rights activist fighting for Uyghurs. Here's a report. This is Minawayer Tursun, a mother of two, who was held in a concentration camp for Uyghurs in the Xinjiang province of northwest China. Her two children moved to the United States in 2011 to reunite with their father, but Minawayer was denied a Chinese passport by the Chinese authorities. The husband tried all legal ways to solve the matter and yet failed to take Mina Wire with him. Despite the United States having agreed to grant a visa, the Chinese officials refused to relent and kept denying her the required passport to travel abroad. In November 2017, she was held in a concentration camp for 22 days and on her release, she refused to contact her children out of fear. What happened to Mina Wire inside the camp is still a mystery. But it was quite clear to her son, Ferkat Javdat, that Minawayer was ill-treated like every other Uyghur who was forced into these concentration camps. The next year, Minawayer was sent again to one of China's vast network of concentration camps. This time, her children and husband, who reside in the US, did not hear from her for the next 15 months. She also stayed in a Chinese prison for more than three months. It is a genocide right now, what's going on in the region. I don't even call myself as an activist, not even the separatist or the pro-independence. I'm just trying to raise my mother's case on the international stage. Today, Firkat Javdat is raising his mother's case on the international stage. He met with U.S. Secretary of State Mike Pompeo to highlight the plight of over one million Uyghurs. Ethnic Kazakhs and members of other Muslim minority groups whom the Chinese have detained in internment camps since April 2017. But his mother continues to live by herself in China's Xinjiang Autonomous Region under the harshest conditions. Along with a million other Uyghurs, she too has been locked in her house for almost a month. The repression of Uyghur Muslims, which began in 2009, has now acquired the form of genocide. Checkpoints and cameras are everywhere in Xinjiang. The government is carrying out mass surveillance and monitoring all communications in the region. But China claims it is providing Uyghurs with skills in the so-called re-education camps. Neither media nor human rights agencies have been allowed access to verify what happens in these re-education camps. But leaked government papers show a very disturbing reality of what is happening inside these concentration camps. The minority Muslims are made to give up their Islamic beliefs and force-fed pork meat. They are forced to work like slaves without any wages and have been compelled to swear allegiance to the Communist Party. But Muslim countries and even the OIC have chosen to stay silent. The reason being that they are financially bound to China and its economy. The Chinese government, especially after they started the One Road, One Belt initiative, they have invested heavily in those Muslim-majority countries. And then lots of them that they owe billions to the Chinese government. Also, the, the China is the second largest superpower in the world. So they can pressure them as well. And then the third main reason is the lack of information. They invite those, uh, the reporters from those like Islamic countries mainly to visit the pre-set up camps and then just to show them the happy life of the detainees in the places. In recent years, China has also demolished several historic mosques and other cultural places of Uyghurs. What China is attempting is a systematic genocide of the Uyghur minority and any resistance to the dominant Han Chinese is quelled by imposing the harshest of punishments. Bureau Report, Weon. World is one.